Let's do this shit, man. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here we go. Today. We make pump slug and we go roaming with it and see how we perform, my friends. All right, that is the plan. We're able to make three of these things. Oh boy, man, pump slug. Thing is, dude, I need a uh, low grade, and I already have syringe learned because I ended up going inside the tech tree yesterday and going down to pump slug and then getting syringe because yesterday was a fucking grind fest for a start. Just a lot of looting airfield and uh, launch site. Tried to get some action here and there. Wasn't really landing on much though. Yeah, man, we need some fucking low grade for sure. So I think that I'm going to go ahead and hit up airfield and then cook some up there, I believe. First things first, so I'm going to go and take a fat old shit in my uh, bathroom, so I'll be right back. I mean, I guess that I'm just going to be using fucking magic healing mushrooms and fucking bandages as my healing right now in this game. Here we go. And I'm just going to bring, I guess this spear right here should work. Oh, dude, 18 slugs? Come on. Might as well bring some buckshot with me too, right? Oh shit, yep, Cheater's here. I didn't even see his body fall, but his body bag's there. Fucking pussy bitch. Cheating and shit. Start off by getting some low grade, just how we said yesterday, and I, and I just love on how it's rainy and foggy. Oh my gosh. If this shit's like this all day, I will get off and get on tomorrow morning. I'm serious. Thing is, tomorrow, I mean, the server, I've learned with the mornings, it's not as populated. So it's annoying to get on in the morning, kind of how I did yesterday, on how I continued uh, the first day on here. It, uh, was really, it was, like, super, super low pop in the morning, which fucking sucks, but during the day, like, right now, it's, like, perfect. But when it's foggy and bullshitty like this, it's hard to want to, like, play when PvP is the objective. Because who wants to, like, look, look around for action when it's this foggy? I mean, it's not insanely foggy yet, but, man, dude, you get ready. That shit, it'll be foggy soon. Place actually might be looted. There actually might be someone here. Who knows? I'm gonna here. Let me just start running across. Yeah, like yeah, like it seems like a lot of the crates and just everything is gone. Minute. Yeah, whoever was here is now gone. If they're, I mean, I'm guessing there was someone recently here. It seems like all the loot's gone. Let me uh, come down here and see if they got my, uh, you know, my low-grade secret stash that no one ever uh, knows about. Nope, they suck. Five fucking crude barrels here. Actually, no, six. Oh my god. Jeez. This is what I'm saying, though, man, about this spot, man. It's underrated. I feel like... Let me just see there's no more, right? Oh, okay. 105 crude. Boom, just like that. That's 300 low-grade. Now... You know, you just have to combine some patience with the legendary spot as you cook up. And then, something special happens, alright? Alright, time to start cooking. Let's do this shit. Alright, cool. No one showed up. Easy peasy. Let's get back home with all this shit and we can start making syringes and begin this uh, whole journey of uh, hunting down people, start leveling up, bringing some gear in, all that good stuff. AKA the fun stuff, right? The funnel stuff. I'm gonna be funneling my way real, real quick, I can tell you that. Honestly, dude, getting a full sheet base today would be super, super ideal. We need to focus up on getting not a shit ton of wood, but a good amount. Like, I would say that we should go out, get 3k stone, bring 20 scrap in the 3k stone over to Bandit. Send over 10,000 wood, go out, mine metal, get that cooking inside of here. We should do that, for sure. We should definitely do that. Actually, not, dude, I already have. Pretty much, yeah, I have enough freaking stone. Okay, I'm gonna need to go outside and hit, like, two stone nodes to have enough for upkeep, alright? We're gonna be solid. Aw, oh, dude, I wish I could go to that right now. Ah, I really, really do. It would be such a good counter, I feel like. Dog outside of my backyard is howling. That's nice. I mean, don't get it wrong. It's kind of cold outside right now, man. But that dog, it's its like one of those dogs that just looks like a wolf. All right? I'm not good with dog breeds and shit, but you guys know uh, Jon Snow's uh, dire wolf in Game of Thrones. It's pretty much like a... Well, I mean, like those things are fucking ginormous. Just imagine a normal-sized one. That's my dog next door. All right. Is my shit here? Of course it is. All right. So that's that. GG well played, my friend. Let's go. Uh, I need to get a metal pickaxe. So I think that I'm going to get inside the tier 1 tech tree, research that shit, and then craft one up. Then I'm going to leave and go and get, I don't know, a bit of stone, a bit of metal, not much sulfur, and 
That's what's in the plans right now. And eventually we're going to be roaming and shit. But right now as it's foggy, I'm hoping that, that all this fog is going to go away. Then we can actually go roaming and look for action and shit like that and try leveling up. Oh my god, dude. Like, there's just wolves surrounding my base, man. Like, there's a wolf there. There's a wolf there. And there's a wolf that's right there. Like, they're just sitting at my fucking base, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Deal with it, Dylan. Eat it up. Eat it up, man. Eat it up. Ugh! I love the pain. I love this. Fuck you, dumb bitch. Just had to shoot it right in the asshole for a second. It'll, you know, it'll have problems later on with that. It feels no pain right now, but when it dies from bleeding out of its asshole and, you know, within like an hour, it'll, you know. It'll be regretting its decisions then, then hopefully the entire wolf population feels that death because hopefully I just killed the entire wolf's, uh, mentor and leader right there. Hopefully that was, uh, their leader right there and they learned, let's not fuck with that fucking Dylan dude, man. Alrighty. Actually, no, we're going, Dylan, we're going mining, you silly goose. What are you thinking right now? You can't just go out and have some fun in PvP right now, silly little goose you. That's not how that works. You need to go in here, get some fucking scrap, take out some wood, keep this shit right here kind of cooking up on, you know, that right there might do it. I don't know. Then you need to, okay, you, you, Dylan, you don't grab metal frags, you grab scrap, okay? Listen to the, what the fuck I'm talking about here, all right? Jeez, the wheeze. Boom, boom. Nice. Then you do that. Then you can take out the metal frags in the wood and make a pickaxe with that. There we go. Well, that's more like it. It's actually getting ready to turn dark, I think, so I'll see you guys at daytime. Alright, time to go out here and get the job done. It's now a beautiful, beautiful morning. Daytime. And we instantly got a metal node right here because, you know, the game is just, you know, the rust gods are looking out for us right now, it looks like. I'm probably going to get a little bit of stone out here, nothing too much, but majority just metal. Just so I can be cooking metal all day long as I'm on here. And then uh, be able to get a full sheet core on my vault before I get off. That'll be amazing if I can get that done. Well, 2400 metal fret, or uh, 2400 metal ore. I'd say one more me uh, metal node, man, and I'm golden i'm good just about just passively smelting shit until uh we have enough stuff and then we're golden we're good i might as well get you know a bit more stone i'm gonna need it don't pass up on it right now Dylan. all right pal get it right now as you easily can just get the shit right now don't be lazy about it all right There's someone out there, wolf headdress, and I'm gonna fucking murder his ass. <laughs> He's not gonna know any idea of where the fuck this shit came from. Alright, let me just say that. Why do both these boxes have to be full, man? One minute. I got a thousand wood. Get that shit cooking. Okay, one minute. I just hope that he's not looking right at me as I come out. Taking off my hazmat temporarily. He's not, okay. He has a double barrel on his back, I'm pretty sure. Okay, one minute here. Just get ready, just get ready. One minute. Take your time, Dylan. Hey, he's one hit, he's one hit. Get rid of him. Alright, yeah, that, no. Dylan! Dylan! What are you- Murder his ass, okay? Calm the fuck down, and just kill his ass, okay? Stop screaming Dylan. Okay, stop. You're gonna wake up the whole fucking neighborhood if you do that shit, and you're only gonna, like, slack when you're just yelling at yourself as you're trying to fucking aim, okay? So never do that shit. I'm gonna go over here to Airfield, not gonna loot it. Then I'm gonna head over, uh, head over to launch overall, just looking for people right now. That's the goal. We have furnaces going, we're good on that, we're good. Now it's just a waiting game for all that shit to smelt up and whatever to upgrade our base and during it smelting up. It's time to go out and have some fun, treat ourselves with some action. We had to do our chores first though, guys, okay? It's like waking up and brushing your teeth. Like, do you wanna brush your teeth? Like, 
you know, some people like, of course, like they want to, but like, if you c if you could have clean teeth for the rest of your life and not have to brush your teeth, would you? Of course, like who wouldn't, right? But sadly, that's just like not really possible yet, and we have to, you know, take care of ourselves to kickstart off the day on the right note, and that's exactly what I did right there. Gotta go mining. Gotta take care of our chores, pretty much, right? Not that brushing my teeth is really a chore, but it's, you know, it's just like it's something that needs to happen if you want to be taking proper care of what's happening, right? And our base is pretty much our human body in Rust, all right? <laughs> I don't know where this con. What the fuck? A smoke nade and an airdrop side by side. Have you guys ever seen that? It's such a weird thing to look at. Ah, cool. I'm gonna go call that in deep as fuck in the snow. I mean, shit, dude. Fuck calling it in deep in the snow. Call it in right fucking here, Dylan. What do you mean? You can get inside this tower over here and have fun. Is there gonna be purple sm- Aw, oh, fuck, dude. People are gonna be seeing purple smoke and shit over here. I'm going to hide inside my fucking tower, dude. I'm done. Oh, man, let's just call this shit in here, man. Honestly, Dylan, there's no point for you to freaking run out into the snow into a dead area to get an airdrop, all right? You fight for this shit, okay? Win or lose. All right, you did this shit in a, in a manly fashion, I guess. Let's just call it. I don't know how else to word it. <laughs> or a 9,000-hour player fashion. Let's just say that. That makes, you know, more sense. No need for you as a 9,000-hour player to go out to the middle or the edge of the fucking snow to call in an airdrop, Dylan. Like, this is a perfectly balanced server. A four-man team with AKs isn't going to show up here, okay? Like, that's just the truth. I mean, it's possible, but truth is, it's probably going to be, you know, like a couple guys, maybe. We're going to start showing up, man, and I'm ready for it, dude. I'm ready. I'm up here on top of this fucking tower, open to it, man. Let's go. Someone start shooting at me, please. I dare you. You don't want to be messing with the pump slug right now, all right? You guys might think, Dylan, you're looking a little bit weird that last fight. Don't fucking start with me, all right? I put that pressure onto myself for no reason, all right? We got this. Oh, shit. Fucking scrap heli. Don't tell me that they're going to be coming here. Don't even tell me. Because this is about to be some bullshit if they actually drop here. Yeah, like, I'm seeing rocket launchers and shit. Those guys aren't coming here. Yeah, nah, those guys aren't going to be doing this whole thing. If no one somehow comes here, then I don't fucking understand what's wrong with this server, all right? I don't know where everyone's at. I don't know what everyone's doing. Oh, I don't know. I'm seeing this guy right now. Later, bitch. What the fuck? I didn't freaking see the guy. <laughs> Ooh, jackhammer. Fucking big. Love that. Gotta love it. How can you not? I'm just gonna go back home, deep all this different shit, come right back out, pump slug. Nice, I ended up getting some action. Nice, that's what I was waiting for. That's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted right there. That SAR guy did not think that shit was called in, so he just walked up, just looted it, well, not within, like, he wasn't expecting much of anything. He was just like, oh nice, an airdrop fell naturally into airfield. De no one definitely called it in here, because who would, right? And that's kind of like another trick that like, you can just kind of play on people. Call it in somewhere where they're not going to think it's being called in. And they're just going to walk up and just loot the shit and get dropped. Oh, and I didn't pick up that guy's revolver, but I could give a fuck less about his revolver. I'm going to be honest with you guys, all right? Don't give a fuck about it. Don't you forgot his revolver? Just stop. Stop it. Man, like, when that revolver guy had peeked me, sorry if I, if, like, I was completely blind for whatever reason, man, but I didn't even see the dude. I think the dude was just on the other side of the airdrop, and, like, the airdrop was creating, like, a blind spot for him <laughs> when I was trying to peek him. We had some of the buddies show up and come fight, though. That was a good time. I mean, I will go over there and search for his revolver real, real quick just to see if it's there. You know, like, would I rather take the revolver or not? Of course, I'd rather take it, but I'm not going to overvalue it and act like, oh, no, I missed it just a little revolver it's a little league shit we're gonna have like a box of tier two guns in like a day or two there it is all right, all right someone actually ended up asking me if i'm still smoking weed and no i haven't smoked weed since i said that i was gonna start taking a break from it 
Ever since pretty much when I stopped DoorDash fully, I stopped smoking weed fully because to anyone that doesn't know, I, I've never really been anyone into alcohol, drugs, anything like that, and, you know, I, I don't know if I really consider weed a drug, but, you know, it's not that, like, it's bad. I, like, once I started doing it, like, a couple months ago, for the first time consistently, like, I had tried it once before that, not, like, on, like, a real level, though, just as, like, some little kid fucking around. Uh, but when, like, I actually tried it and started getting into it consistently, I don't know. Like, it's just not for me, man. It keeps me, it slows me down. Like, it, like, like it increases the laughter in my life, but it decreases the productivity. You know, like, that's productivity over everything. Well, getting things done that need to get done over everything, right? And so, I don't know, weed, uh, I just disconnected myself from that and I'm not doing it anymore. <sighs> I experimented with it a little bit consistently, and, you know, it was fun, it was a good time, but... I gotta be staying focused. Oh! That was over here inside launch. What the fuck was that? Sound like a landmine. I guess that it could have been a minicopter. Oh shit, man. We actually might have some people that are trying to take Bradley right now. And then the pump has the ability to wipe out these people, especially with Buckshot. Everything, yep, everything's looted in here. Something's dropped over there. I'm gonna keep the revolver down here in my hotbar to where as soon as I start to fight someone. I just shoot the revolver at him, then they have no idea that I have the pump, and then that'll just demolish him out of nowhere. That's the plan. I mean, Cray right here is gone. Damn, dude, I had just missed some people. Barely missed them. Oh, no, just now saw someone. Saw someone on the top of this hill right here. Not on, like, the top of these rocks, but the hill behind the rocks, I saw their head peeking up. I don't know if you guys saw that at all, but yeah. yeah like, right up here, pretty much, I saw his head. Hopping around and shit. Like right here, pretty much. Could live there. There's an armored door on the front of that base. There is a horse here. This guy either has. Oh, dude, he has a jackhammer. Fucking jackhammer, bro. Yeah, this is gonna be it right here. Get ready. <clears throat> I have no cover for when he gets off this fucking horse, so. Do this shit easy peasy. What? Wow. Like, I felt like I had a lot of time right there to repeat. I really did, but then I just die. And, and literally, that guy's HP, you guys, trust me, you do not even want to know. I don't even know if I even want to check. I don't even know if I even, like, really want to check, because it's going to be very, 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 very disturbing, and it's not going to be pleasing to see. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be fun to look at at all. It's going to be one of the most unsatisfying things to look at. I feel like if I would have known in my head that, okay, yeah, this distance is not going to kill him, but it was, like, borderlining... Killing him and like being close enough to one shot headshot a hazmat. Unless he had a uh, health potion popped, but I doubt it. But then he had custom insem bullet. That fucking destroyed me. That's honestly probably why I didn't have time to repeat, man. Custom insem bullet. But yeah, here we can go and look at what it got him down to 0 0.5. Zero health. 0 0.5. Oh, he definitely bled out. Problem is, he's going to be based way, way closer to that area than where uh, I am, unless I can get a horse on my hands. He definitely bled out right there, though, I guarantee it. Oh, man. I'm not mad at myself over that, though. I accept my death. Because the second that I heard the headshot, like, I was ready to unpeak because I started moving left right there as I died. But I feel like I would have started moving sooner if, again, like, I knew inside that he wasn't going to die. But the second that I hit the headshot, my brain instantly thinks I killed him, but then it instantly thinks, no, I didn't, and that... A little bit of timing, I feel like, is what got me killed, me thinking that, which is technically my fault. Technically. Just up in my knowledge on, like, how close you really have to be to one-shot headshot a hazmat guy. If I see this bitch over here with a SAR, though, his ass is insta-fucking dead, just how he would have been right there. If I had a SAR, he's insta-dead, but... I want to be rocking Pump Slug as much as possible, whether if I die here or get back home with his gear set, I'm going right back out Pump Slug, just over and over and over. I just want to be... I want to be using that shit a lot right now. I'm guessing that he died, but again, I'm based far as fuck away from here, so. Unless he, for some reason, lives insanely far away as well, which a part of me doubts. One, I got him down to 0 0.5. Two, he had in some bullets, man. Two just really, really shitty things. Oh, yes, a SAR. Perfect. 
I'm down to just go fuck shit up elsewhere. I don't even care about revenge right now. I was on my way to go and get revenge, but if I can get action elsewhere that's hopefully not a roof camper inside this base, I'm down. Oh, yep, just now saw him. But it's two guys, and they're just going inside their base, so I'm not going to fuck with it. Because I don't want to fight people that are just standing on their base. I don't want to do it. It's not that fun. Honestly, that could be one of them. I think that was like two or three guys right there. But I'm not uh, I'm not seeing a horse over there, so I don't know. Dude, 0 0.5. Oh my gosh. And he was 100 health. He was 99.7. If he was 99.2, he dies. It's just weird to think about. Very, very strange to think about. I would love to fight those guys. 1v3, 1v2, whatever it is, but just not on their base. Hearing those explosions over at launch again, I don't know what the hell that is. It was in like the exact same spot as last time. Watch me just get here on time somehow, somewhere. There's no fucking way. I don't know if there's any way. <laughs> if this guy's mining in this area, you... oh, wait, this is actually him right here. Oh my god, I can actually fucking kill this guy. He's off his horse and he's mining right now. He just now saw me. He just now fucking saw me, dude. Fuck! I sat there for so, so long just chilling. Don't know if he's dead or not. He's just doing the stupid head glitch bullshit. Just sitting behind a node. Just alt looking down, then looking up. It's so fucking stupid. One day they'll just hopefully patch that shit. Now he's insta-dead. Boom. Easy. And that's what happens when I got a SAR, huh? Pussy bitch, what's up? I don't even talk to me. Why are you running backwards, man? Or why are you running why backwards? You backwards? Or why are you running backwards? Like, what does that mean? Like, I don't know what that means. Why am I running backwards? Like, what are you talking about? Why was I running that way? Because I can't run directly at someone that's just head glitching a stupid fucking node, like an idiot, due to a broken game mechanic? What do you mean? Like, I know exactly what you're doing. I'm not just gonna walk right up to you and let you custom SMG spray me peeker's advantage. Sorry, pal. I'm gonna distance myself out and get an angle on you, because you're stuck in a spot. Don't be asking me, how, like, why I'm doing what I'm doing when your ass just got shit on, didn't even hit me at all. Or why are you walking backwards? <laughs> Why are you hiding behind a rock? Right? Like, we're trying to fucking win and we each have our strategies. Yours is hiding behind a rock, healing because I got you weak. I get it, makes sense, but I'm not gonna run at the rock and fight an SMG point blank. Or a pump. I didn't even know that he was gonna have my pump. What does this have? Aw, oh, buckshot. He took the slugs out. Fuck. Well, at least I got my pump back. That's nice. Also, a jackhammer and a custom. Pretty much didn't lose anything. Just now got the shit back that we had lost. When you see them crawling at you like that, though, you just know they're about to say some shit. It's either gonna be a simple GG or some stupid shit. It's, it's always... I feel like there's just not really, like, an in-between. It's always gonna be one or the other. Oh, no. See, like, that right there is, like, the shitty type of timing that I talk about sometimes with people, like... Fighting out like where I live. Because I came from this way, walked up and like into my base, and this guy was over here and just barely saw me jump through my front door dude, due to like where he was. And I was just crouching around outside and shit. God, and it's just a noise. Like he's just speed crouching around, it sounds like. See? Now this shit happens. You just hear random footsteps, people just running away from your base and shit all the time now. Which is exactly why I play it safe, but. You can never really play it too safe, you know, like, you can master the ninja skill and, you know, which I'm not, a, well, you know, I might be there, I'm not really too sure, you know, there's no, like, I don't have no teacher that I'm following, okay, I'm just, I'm the best ninja in all of life in this game, alright, but, but it's like, when you're a ninja in this game, when it comes to going home and whatever and not letting anyone, like, know where you live, there's just no avoiding the RNG aspect that someone could be in the wrong spot looking directly at your base and see you, nothing can change that, right, like, you can't do anything about that. And it rarely ever happens to me, but it does at some point, and I can't get mad at myself over that. I can't. Nah. This guy's gonna fake run away 20 times until I come outside. <laughs> I'm just gonna hear footsteps just run away from my base and never come back 
like every two minutes, <laughs> just all night long. But I'm not even going to be leaving and roaming right now as it's nighttime, so I could care less what that guy does. Plus, before I leave next time, I'm going to leave naked just as just in case, so this guy can have his fun. I just now hurt. Yeah, like you're hearing this, right? <laughs> this guy will sit outside my base for hours and hours and hours. It's the same guy. I hear his fucking hide boots. It's hide boots outside. He's literally just sitting outside my shit. This is exactly why I'm so careful. People are like... People probably think, Dylan, you are too careful sometimes, okay? Like, what are you doing? This is why. Because dumb shit like this starts to happen. It's just stupid. <laughs> dude, he sat here the whole fucking nighttime. Oh my god. And he was thinking, dude, at daytime he's probably gonna come out. And I've still just been chilling for a few minutes. Watching a, a freestyle on YouTube and... <laughs> then I just hear footsteps move. Uh, and just to think that no matter what, I'm just gonna come out naked 20 times before, like, I even go roaming. I mean, he knows that I'm in here, he either, he, I mean, he either knows that I'm offline, or that I'm in here, so it doesn't really matter what I do. He knows that I'm active and shit, so. Which is all good with me, because I'm just gonna make a small box and then just go outside butt naked and just handle this shit. I really don't care right now. Pretty much what my plan right now is... So yeah, go outside, but, but before I go outside, I'm going to go ahead and put down this flame trap with a little bit of low grade, in case this guy wants to get smart ass with me and try fucking breaking inside this shit. Go like that right there. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave literally butt naked with freaking nothing on me, and I mean, that'll be that. It's just that simple. Let me just get one more sheet door down, though, just real, real quick. Just so you can't destroy my wood door right here. It's all good, man. It's all good. I'm ready. Where are you? You're sitting out here for a while, and what? Now you're not? Finally gave up, huh? Like, I know that you saw someone go inside of their base that you've never had any contact with, most likely, and you just thought, Oh, I can camp this guy and get a gun. And that makes me good at rust. I'll just go run into airfield, see if anyone's here, then die to the radiation. Let's go see what's happening. Ah, oh, nice. We have two bears just sitting here. Oh, there's actually someone here. He's going to go over there and loot that tower, then come back and loot the hangars. That's what he's going to do. Okay. I'm going to come over here with my pump slug and try to slay his ass out real, real quick. All right, one minute. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, fuck. I guess the bears just camp inside airfield hangars now. Fucking great. Just gonna ruin everything. Bear, you're just gonna sit there 24... Okay, I'm just gonna have to just go after him. Bear, run away. Really, you're just... I think that he's still back there. So fucking stupid, man. <laughs> As I always say, though, I will take it. Do I feel fair doing that? I don't know. I mean, a fucking bear was on my ass. Like, what do you want me to do? Cycle that. Give me a quick tarparoo real, real quick. Or not. I'll land on the 50% chance to not get it. It's fine. I accept it. I might even... Eh, nah, we don't have to cook up the crude oil right now. Oh, we just now stole a small run from the guy. Honestly, that was probably the guy that was camping me. I don't know why, I just feel like it was. Part of me really, really does just feel like it was that guy. Even though I thought that I heard hide boots. Which I don't think that guy had, but... He did have a water pipe which could allow him to door camp me. So I don't know. Alright, metal's still cooking, obviously. Let's go ahead and roam right now. My guess is that someone could be outside door camping me, so just get ready. Just pretty much expect it anytime that I leave my base. Uh, excuse me, anytime that I leave my base. I'm just saying, just be ready for it, cause 
telling you, man, that shit is around the corner because, well, someone had saw me go inside my base, so... And I have to live with that. Which pretty much just means that door camping is going to be a possibility that's outside my control for the time being, alright? Like, the key thing is, right, is when you're getting door camped, you have to flip it into a positive somehow. Either just sit there and just make them feel like you're going to come out for the longest time, just make them camp you for no reason, or... Just spawn outside and just look at the moron and just laugh at him. It's at that point he's just gonna be feeling like humiliated. Just be like, look at you, what are you doing right now, man? I'm looking at you right now. And he's gonna walk over, kill you because he's insecure as fuck about what's happening during that moment to where he's just like, I just have to kill him, dude, fuck this. Or he's just gonna walk away, the walk of shame. I'm really, really excited to travel at some point in my life, man. I'm really, really excited to. Hoping that I'm going to be able to go with my mom and dad, which, you know, like, I'm able to go travel right now if like, I really want, but I have to come up with a with a very, very solid plan for this YouTube shit for as I do it. Because uh, I daily upload. I upload every single day. It's been a thing for years now. Uh, over five years, I think, honestly. Five years daily uploading, never missing a day, literally ever, ever missing a day. Literally have not missed a day five years. It can be an unhealthy thing, man. Like, it detaches you from reality in a way, but it also... Since I'm doing a lot of solo shit at the same time, man, you truly do just learn a lot, lot more about yourself and learn way, way more about just, like, who you are, and... So it's... it can be a, you know, like, a gift and a curse, and the curse of it is, is that I have no friends. I mean, like, I don't really care about having friends and shit, though, and, like, going out and doing all the normal... Doing, like, all, like, the normal shit that everyone does here in, like, our society. Like, I don't really care about any of that, but... You know, like, I am detached from reality in a way. And that can be a, kind of like an unhealthy thing. Uh, but the blessings completely outweigh the negatives of this whole thing that I do, I feel like. There are other, like, little things, though. Like, I don't, like, I'm not super attached to my family, even. Like, I mean, like, I'm attached to my mom and dad heavily, but everyone else, man. I'm just detached from all that shit, man. Family, parties, everything. I'm just super detached from it. And it's not that I like to, but it just comes with this fucking grind, you know? And. And now it's got to the point to where it's been so long that I've really connected with my family. To where it's like, I don't even like really feel like I have the right to step into the room with them. And I don't know, it, even though they don't feel like that, like they have no negative energy toward me, I'm sure. I have an amazing, amazing family. But uh, I just, like, I don't feel right showing up to like a family party after not being there for like five, six years after always going, right? So it's, uh, it's a very, very... It can be kind of a strange thing to push yourself into, but there's no reason to to fear it. And I know that deep down, but I guess that it is fear within me on pushing myself into, like, that environment just because I don't really feel like I'm going to fit in. I mean, the truth is, like, I just don't like being around anyone, man. It's nothing against my family. It's nothing against really, like, anyone. Like, I just like to just keep to myself. I barely talk to my actual friends, like John and Matt, all those guys. I love them to death. Good, good people. Amazing people. I love them. I just don't, I just like to just keep to myself, man. I talk to my mom and dad, that's it, and that's all that I care about. Then on here, I release all my thoughts out in my videos, and I feel like that keeps me stable, dude. I don't know. It keeps me stable as a person, and it creates this nice balance of what I feel like uh, I need. Like At this point, man, I've spent so much time by myself where I prefer nothing else. Like, I'm in my comfort zone when I am by myself. I feel like that's such an odd thing, because I feel like that's not really something that a lot of people are like. Like, like a lot of people seem to just get lonely and, like, get lonely very, very easily, but that's because they don't spend enough time with themselves alone, but... Not that I'm pushing this on to anyone to spend, you know, all of your time alone, man, because it comes with different things, like I said, but... At the same time, man, you do need to put some time to the side to always just spend with yourself, learn with yourself, and everything like that, because I feel like that's, like, where the true magic happens to mastering yourself. You're not gonna master yourself when you're getting pulled in all these different directions by things and people, and, uh... So I feel like spending time alone is a very, very smart thing, but only spending time alone like me? Eh, that has its bad things that can come with it, but it still comes along with the good things. See someone coming? Gosh, I get so scared when it's time for you to put your base down, man. Good thing it's scripted so you won't die for no reason. Hey, man, you know best, Mr. Fuck You, okay? Because that's his name. His name is Fuck You on YouTube. Hey, man, you know best. You know what we're doing around here, scripting all of our shit. I mean, why not? It's just a scripted video. I got my actors, they get paid well, and I do my thing, and life goes on, right? It's simple. 
even all the deaths, you know, because I have to script bad days to make new viewers not think that it's scripted. So, because you need that balance, you just need it. Otherwise, people aren't going to believe it. I like to give off like a true Rust experience through my scripting skills, which is top tier scripting skills. Because ideally, you would think, okay, I mean, like if you're scripting your videos, why not just give like the best content in the fucking world? Well, because that's not balance, it's just too much. All right? I have to give off the true Rust experience. And rather just playing the game and just letting what happened happen and uploading every single day, I'd rather script it and just do that. Realistically, I play for 20 to 30 minutes a day. All of it's scripted. Every single conversation I plot out. I'm joking, okay? This is going way, way too far. Realistically, I get on this game every single day not knowing exactly what I'm going to do. Let everything flow organically. Let what happened happen. Move on the next day. Repeat. And conversations aren't planned out. Anything like that. Oh, nice. We have some dick signs. We have the Nate sign right there that has the... 30 pound nut sack and you know half pound wiener and yeah nate hart that's guessing that's a girlfriend that put that there i don't know all right that's actually something else that i've never even had in my life as a girlfriend never kissed a girl never been with a girl and honestly it's not something that i really am searching for either because i know that like right now it's like yeah like having fun with a girl like that sounds fun just because like that's like you know what society is like for the average you know male but it's more of a I'm not trying to waste my energy in that and get addicted to that lifestyle. And like when I say like that lifestyle, I mean like lustful thinking, getting with a girl that's probably not the girl. You know, it's just some girl that, you know, like we just fuck here and there and whatever. And like that's just what we do. It's fuck that. I'll die a fucking virgin eventually. I'm, I'm serious. Not that I am like striving to do that, but I'm not going to be going out of my way to chase no girl and put her above me on a pedestal. Fuck that shit. That, that is like... The most beta shit in the world, and every fucking dude in the world pretty much is doing it without even realizing how beta it is. Putting females above them on a pedestal just because they want that so, so bad because they can't stand living without it. Which is why semen retention is something that I preach and, you know, practice. Because the world is too lustful nowadays, man. Too much lustful thinking. Too many people are thinking about sex, dude. It's insane ridiculous it's like little like high school 14 year old mentality shit that, that grown ass men are still thinking about it's i think that it's ridiculous my dad pushes me don't go get fucking laid you have to learn about love like why <laughs> it'll happen when it happens i'm not gonna be fucking rushing into some bullshit that, that is probably not gonna go well because rushing into some shit like that is not gonna go well I'll find my queen when I find her, okay? I'll find her when I find her. And I might have stumps along the road of, you know, my journey of, uh, my journey of love in my life. And I'm open to the stepping stones. I'm fucking ready for them. I know that they're gonna occur. Oh, shit. Okay, alright. I like this. Walk right. Thank you. What are you- <coughs> Okay, I just now spit all over my screen. I mean, it's what ninjas do, okay? Like, you just can't see me. You're like, where the fuck is he? What am I gonna do? Alright, man, it's just what happens. It's what happens when you go up against ninjas like me, alright? <laughs> Dude's just shooting at random shit at the building, man. Actually, as soon as we get home, I'll show you guys what the headshot did from that distance, because I feel like we could all use that knowledge. I feel like not one person can, like, easily, just effortlessly know how much damage that was. I mean, based off my knowledge and the slug damage, I'm guessing... If, well, I mean, like, if assuming that he was at 100 HP, I'm guessing that it dropped him from, like, 100 to, like, I don't know, 27? That's my guess, 100 to 27. When in, when in like, all actuality, if I was point blank, it would one-shot him. Let's see. 100 to 27, let's see. 98 to 23. I was somewhat close. I'm okay with my guess. But yeah, 98 to 23 from that distance. Uh, I think that I'm going to be needing more metal, man. This is not good. Shit. Yeah, I'm going to need more. We're going to go mining real, real quick with the jackhammers. We got to go and get a little bit more metal to keep on cooking up because uh, I'm not going to have enough for a full sheet vault before I get off. Let's go out and get a little bit more, uh, dude, look at all the stone in my right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think, dude. Oh, my God. It's, it's gross. So, so nasty. Oh, nice, and all the metal that I'm going to need is literally just right here, right there, and then right up here. Hell, yeah. Yeah, man, sometimes stone just spawns in big-ass batches, man. It's crazy.
Oh shit, man, what's up? Don't be trying to do this shit with the pump right now. Are you kidding me? May? Oh, dude, who is May? Who is this guy? I, I think that it's it's one of the airfield guys, one of the people that I've killed at airfield. Guys, we're inspiring people out here with our play style, all right? You just can't decline that. It just got proven to you, all right? <laughs> he's going to be over here searching. Oh, he's got to live over here somewhere, man, if he's mining and shit. Maybe I live over here, maybe I don't. You're just going to have to find out. I'm going to be sitting still in my base for the next 20 hours, though, so good luck uh, finding out where I live, pal. You're not going to hear me in here. <laughs> you might hear the furnaces going, though. I don't know. I'm going to be chilling now, though. Because, again, I'm very, very safe with this shit. I'm not fucking around. But, yeah, no, I think that May was the revolver guy at Airfield that I killed at the airdrop, or it was the guy looting the airdrop. I think some shit like that. Maybe it's the P2 guy as well. Honestly, hell if I know. Right now, this guy is just sitting outside my base. And, again, I'm making, like, this is all scripted. None of this is real, right? I'm just saying this for no reason, but pretty much this guy's outside my base. I don't truly know if he is, but I do know if he is because I'm scripting this, but I have to act like I don't. Pretty much I think this, I don't know, like, he's probably outside, and, like, what do you, what do you want me to do? Just run out there and then just get door camped by a little fucking weird Joe running around the map all day? Like, what do you want me to do, guys? I'm not going to go out there, okay? Because it's going to create a very, very weird cycle. Please don't comment. You're my favorite solo player. Keep up the great vids, man. Thank you. And you commented that on a video where all that I did was pretty much talk the entire day because I never got any action, so I appreciate that love on that type of video, you know? Please don't comment. Depressed Raiders fan here. Why are we so cursed? Listen, man, I don't know about the history of any of that shit. Um, I don't know any of the history about it, you know? Um, so, sorry, pal. He's gonna comment, I want to see this pump slug. Well, guess what, man? We're getting it in today, man. We're f we're not playing bad, man. We're not playing bad. I can tell you that right now, okay? Am I playing at my best? Eh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm really playing at my best, but we're playing solid, all right? That's what I would say. And this guy, he's outside my fucking base, crouching around like a weirdo. Okay, that's, this is all just paranoid assumptions. Season one comment, hey Shots, what's your early Super Bowl predictions? I mean, like, I w honestly, I want to see my dad's team make it there, which is the Buccaneers. He's been a Bucks fan for like 20 plus years. And, I mean, I want to see Green Bay there too. So, I mean, a Bucks versus Green Bay game with with my dad liking the Bucks. Not that I dislike the Bucks. I don't dislike any NFL team, by the way. I don't really care who wins, but... You know, seeing either Green Bay, which is the team that I've been looking into the most, and then my dad's team, the Bucks, which I've looked into a little bit just because of him always watching and talking about him. Seeing those two teams go go up against each other, I would love to see that. Green Bay versus Tampa, I'd like to see that. Plus, you know, it's just the classic, like, Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady. Like, who doesn't want to see that, right? Like, I feel like it's like it's just two goats going up against each other quarterback-wise, and that's just a fun game to watch. Well, and there's all that, and then I already have 239 high call. Might as well start upgrading all the ceilings and shit to high qual. Oh, okay. Boom, well, there we go. Easy. Easy full sheet vault. Armored foundations over here so that they can't pick in easily if they go through my doors. Through those foundations and... I mean, it's just game over at that point. It's just beautiful. Um, I could work my way down to garage door and learn that right now. Oh, dude, then I could actually... Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. I want to do this right here simply because... Garage door is, you know, just amazing. And two, I can actually get a window down right here on my TC and take care of that. Also make a key lock for your TC. Silly goose you, Dylan. And yeah, overall, I think that right there is going to do it for me right now, my friends. And actually, I ended up accidentally upgrading. I just not thought about it. Uh, you see this stone wall and that's the one uh, behind the tier one? Those are supposed to be wood, man. I messed up. I messed up. So we're going to have to jackhammer those out as soon as we actually want to expand out the base because there's supposed to be square loot rooms on the other side of those. I'm going to go ahead and throw that window on there. And I'm going to store all of this shit right here inside of there. And, oh shit, everything's fine, everything's fine. I can still get all the resources that I need to seal up my base from uh, this furnace right here. And overall, I'll see you tomorrow, my beautiful friend. Thank you for joining me today. Today was a really, really good day when it came to action. Uh, not a disgusting amount, but we also got a lot of progression things done, like, uh, you know, did our base like this, ended up learning garage door, got a window down up there, you know, sheet vault, all that good stuff, and, and yeah, I'm happy about it. 
If you made it here to the end of this video, comment, uh, let's see here, let's think for a second. What do I want you guys to comment right now? Let's see. What do I want you to comment today? Honestly, I can't think of anything, so just comment the number 12. Tom Brady and, uh, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers jersey numbers. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.